Hey, I'm Astrid and uh, I'm here in Mülheim in Germany and uh, I would like to show you a little bit about how shopping in Germany works. So we are here, I have to steal that, oh I don't, I'm here with a friend actually and so we are here in front of Edeka which is um, a typical chain so it's maybe comparable with Sobeys in Canada for example. So and yeah so we also have um, shopping carts and something that uh, we have is that you actually yeah, um, here gibt's kein chip okay i just learned there is no uh, chip refund chip thing which is typical here in germany but not um, so much in canada all right so now cash desks so it is usually combined with um yeah it's not really a bookstore it's more magazines that we would get here um, some hot food okay so and I'm actually here with a friend um, and we're trying to find some toilet paper which is colored <clears throat> so as you can see um, vegetables and fruits so melons and uh, whatever we have citrus tropical fruit strawberries or um, grapes it's interesting to see that in German right now which is a, my home language right but um, since I haven't been here for five months it looks strange <laughs> not so familiar anymore so just for you guys to get an impression so here wir leben Lebensmittel means we love food we love something to eat Okay, Skaya yogurt. So prices are definitely different. So buttermilk would be 39 cents, which is roughly 55 cents, dollar cents. Let's just walk through here. Here, I need that. Let's get that here. Oh, die ist lecker. Das mm. ist eine Milch. Der mm. Unterschied gegen Milch und Kakao, äh, Kakao ist, eine Milch wird nur mit Traumzucker gesüßt, die klebt nicht am Gaumen, mm. und Kakao wird mit Zucker gesüßt. Mm. Ist so ein bisschen äh, kleiniger, sag ich mal immer. Mm. Ne? Übrigens, der Joghurt drin ist auch lecker. Ja, weil die auch nicht so süß sind. Das wird sein. So, now, this is the cheese area. So, we actually do have quite a bit of cheese in Germany. Um, often it is already cut but also chunks are already so the other side is all cold cuts so this is Fressbörse? <laughs> Nein! Presents! <laughs> so, and actually what I personally like a lot is Kinderschokolade and Duplo, so Ferrero, and that is a whole package for that. And it's fairly cheap, it's only 30 bucks. Okay, going on from here, the fresh area. So this is um, antipasti. Then over there is fish and the meat area. Tough to see from this angle here. Okay, so also, um, Abgepacktes Fleisch. Uh, frisches Fleisch. Um, so, abgepacktes Fleisch means, yeah, as you can see, that it is wrapped already. And then uh, that's all fresh. People rather buy fresh meat. <laughs> so, and so what else do we have here? <laughs> honey! Lots of honey. Honey, I love honey. And also marmalade or jam. So, typical brands would be Langnese. Oder um, breitsamer Honig. Honig means honey. Um. Yeah, oder Grafschafter Syrup. Grafschafter, this is a very typical syrup. So, it is a very typical syrup here in Germany. 
also Rübenkraut. Um, I'm sorry, I don't really know what it is in English. Well, one suggestion here right now is sugar carrots. I'm not so sure about that. Oh yeah, and then a very, very typical brand also is Mövenpick. That is fairly expensive. Or Schwartau. Schwartau is something extremely typical here. Known since more than 30 years, definitely. And we also have own brands, which would be here, Gut und Günstig. It is usually a good quality um, for a lot cheaper price. And the other thing is Centis. Centis also produces chocolates and can often be seen um, yeah, during Christmas time or Easter time. So, then, not to forget, even we have peanut butter. And now, also, Nutella, of course, right here. Then we have from Santa's Nuspli, or they're very, that's great, a Sechnitten, which means that um, it is like a chocolate, a very thin chocolate. Or something I haven't seen yet is Twix, Teaser, or Bounty Spread. Hmm. Would be worth trying. I love Teaser, Malteser Teaser, with crunchy pieces, malty. Let's see, I just go and get it. What's the price? 3.69. That would mean it is um, roughly, right now, the euro to the dollar exchange would be 1 to 10. What, 1 to 110. So it would be roughly $4.20, 30, something like that. Just an estimation. So the next area is the bread area. So we do have pita bread. And even Eiweißbrot means a bread that has especially um, added proteins. Mm. Nussbrot, meaning it's with nuts, um, sunflower seeds, just the regular um, rye bread, and lots of toastbrot. I love toastbrot. It is like, um, yeah, this very white bread that's often typical in the US and Canada and probably all over the world. Another area I personally like is um, buns. So you get them here, um, of course, freshly baked, but also um, pre-baked. So that means you would just put it in the oven and bake it yourself in all different kinds and varieties. And Rosinenstuten, meaning it is with raisins. Um, a little sweeter due to the raisins, but very delicious with, bre uh, with butter or with um, jam. Then there are different types of prepackaged cakes, Fleckenkuchen with um, yeah, the different colors, I like Flecken, meaning spots. Or something I personally like is yes torty. It is like a creamy little cake. Or here marzipan kuchen with marzipan. Balsen cake is something very typical here as well. Um, it is fairly sweet, but probably not as sweet as cakes in Canada and the US. And also waffles. Waffles in different types. Um, very typical for us in Germany are these heart waffles that it is like a little heart shaped like a heart not really visible here from this side so but here maybe <coughs> no, so it looks like a heart shape so here droop, droop, chock. and also double baked bread which is called Zwieback in all different varieties here with chocolate with anis, with cocoa, and just a regular one on the bottom. Knäckebrot, which is double baked bread. The next aisle actually holds quite a bit of um, prepackaged sauces and also soups. So it's fairly easy to just cook whatever you want to cook. So here, for example, geschnetzeltes, meaning cut meat, 
with uh, special spices. Sauces that can easily be um, stirred into water, like the sauce powder, different types of sauces. So it's um, a very, like a light sauce um, or darker sauces. So another aisle holds quite a bit of different types of tea. So it's just tea bags in a ton of varieties. To me a very, very special tea is this Yogi tea. And yeah, it's a growing brand as I see because now they have about 20 different kinds and it, I know something about seven, eight, nine different kinds. And then coffee. And we also have Tassimo. Milka, which is a type of um, cocoa or chocolate, I mean. Again. What? Suppenpasta? Yeah, soup, soup pasta, um, cheese. We cheese. Re yeah, yeah. Ah, so over there. Cheese. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so lots of canned soups and just canned soups. 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 And soups, by the way, just for everybody who doesn't know, it's even Thai soup. There. Or. Um, that's just a five minutes terrine means um, done it within five minutes. Um, I personally would add some more to that. Now I was just informed that I'm not allowed to take any videos in the store, so I just turn it off. <laughs>